What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are at PP Performance in Bad Mergentheim in Germany and Jimmy has kindly enough asked us to come and drive his personal car this Mercedes AMG G63 tuned by PP Performance with some Akrapovic goodness added to that. Uh, it is a freaking beast, this thing. It is absolutely mental. So today I'm going to show you around it quickly uh, because we've made a review of the G63 in the past. So you can click in the top right corner if you want to check out that video where I go in depth into the new G63 or this generation. But today I'm going to focus on the tuning and of course on that crazy exhaust. And of course I'm going to take it for a drive on this beautiful road towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Let's start, we're going to do a quick walk around. I'm going to cover some headlines of the new G63 whilst trying to avoid this beautiful tree that's just gorgeous absolutely beautiful tree so i have to manage my way through here of course the new g63 a little bit more rounded uh it's a lot more modern but they've really gone out of their way to try and keep the original g feel so it's still a very boxy car although we have a lot of modern stuff but still i mean the fact that they've been able to keep these indicators on top uh, which was apparently four or five times more expensive than just uh, an indicator in the light unit. Double thumbs up for Mercedes. Uh, really cool. Now we've got the wheels 22 inch, which on this car doesn't, it's, it, it doesn't even look like that big of a wheel, but it's quite a, a massive wheel. Behind that we've got AMG brakes. Now this car sits on a ladder chassis and for the first time uh, they mounted double wishbones straight to the ladder chassis, the ladder frame, to improve the handling, especially uh, the front end, you know, the turn in. Uh, it is much, much better than before, but still, with this car, this tuned version, you'll see it still goes always but straight. V8 bar turbo badge on the side. Now, this car sounds amazing with this Akrapovic exhaust, but the most satisfying sound of this car still is that oh i mean it just sounds like you're slamming the door of a an army personnel transport absolutely love that sound now the akrapovic exhaust we've got stock down pipes but we do have this akrapovic exhaust with opf delete you can see down here it runs right there and culminates here to the side but then this part the part you see is just mounted underneath uh, the sideboards so the exhaust itself is actually not connected to this part which means that if you stand next to it like here cool you can actually see the floor through the exhaust which I think is just not great uh, you know, I would just add a little bit of black stuff or whatever just to cover that hole. Because now you just look through it and I think it looks a bit cheap. Uh, at the rear, one of the things that didn't change compared to the old G63 uh, is this spare wheel cover. Uh, it's one of four things they didn't change. So that's one. Door handles is two. Headlights, washer jets three and sun visors four those are the four things that stayed the same all the rest is new so that is pretty awesome show you guys a little bit of storage as well big door big square loading area slam that's just awesome okay so let's check out where the magic happens, which normally is in the bedroom, but this time it's under the hood, of course. Which is the M178 4 liter V8 by turbo, built by Tom Orosi. 
at Mercedes AMG. Now, stock, this car has 585 horsepower, but this car has been tuned by PP Performance. So we've got a software remap combined with TTE turbos and of course that Akrapovic exhaust. This car now delivers 900 horsepower and 1000 newton meters of torque. That's a lot of power to stuff into this G-Wagon. So we're going to see what it feels like, what it drives like. Oh, this is also super cool. I love this. Love this car so much. Problem is, they are so expensive. I mean, they just keep their value. They, they are super awesome at keeping their value, but that just means that they stay too expensive for too long. Okay, so we're going to start it up. Listen to that. What a cool sound. Oh my God, that is so loud. I haven't heard it from the outside yet. Oh, oh, <laughs> that is freaking loud. Those bangs are crazy and I should have known because when you when you drive along you can actually feel them through the floor those those bangs but man that's loud holy moly that that deserves a holy moly stamp of approval okay so in here uh, this is actually something that uh, the guys at Mercedes worked on a lot to for this new G-Class G-Wagon you can still off-road with it, of course. As you can see, that's quite a steep angle, but no problem. Uh, this interior space is what they worked on. So they really tried to stretch out uh, the G-Wagon so you have more interior space. Okay, so what we are going to do for this, most of the stuff towards the Autobahn is we're going to lower the rear windows a bit and the front windows as well. We have the sunroof open. Oh! I think just rear windows might be... No. This is better. But the sound this thing produces is so crazy. It's so... It's, it sounds like a World War II fighter plane. Oh, man, man, man. I mean, you have to give it to AMG. They, if, you, if you put like a proper exhaust on it and, you know, bigger turbos, they sound so crazy. I think it's the only thing that comes close to a, a, a muscle car from the from the US. I really do. And you can actually just hear left and right the exhaust popping separately. You can just say, oh, that was left, that was right. Oh, man. And of course, combined with that crazy sound, We've got crazy power as well. So uh, we're not in manual mode. We're just going for automatic, little brake boost, turn off traction control because it will go absolutely bonkers if we keep that on. Little brake boost, release. Whoa, easy fella. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like a freaking rodeo cowboy trying to control this 
wild beast. It's absolutely insane. It, it, it just goes left and right and just figures out where it where to put that power. It just Oh, these people hate me so bad. I'm so sorry, man. I, 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 it's just super loud. I can't help it. I have to work, right? I'm so sorry. Um, but that's really how it feels. And a real testament to this new G-Class and this new G63 and the development of the chassis and, you know, the improvements they made is that we've also driven a previous generation G63 with a thousand horsepower, you know, similar power. That felt absolutely uncontrollable. It, it was just, it was just plain scary, basically. With this one though, even though it, 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 it tries to go left and right on you, you know, you can control it. You can just steer into it and it will go where you want it to go globally, you know, you know in, a, in a sense. And I think that's just a testament to how good this new G63 is. I mean, still, of course, it's all over the place, basically. But in a way that doesn't feel like you're going to die. Oh man, I just want to open those windows. Okay, I'm going to drive slowly. Oh, that is so dirty. Oh, the... the the darkness combined with those massive bangs. Oh, that is just crazy. Jimmy, my guy, what a crazy thing you've built, man. It's, it, again, it sounds different from anything I've ever heard. I also love this carbon fiber steering wheel. I know it's ridiculous in a G-Class, but just love it. It, it. It's a really cool steering wheel. Merkingen. Bye, Merkingen. <laughs> okay, trying to throw it around the corner is still very weird. But here we go, full throttle onto the Autobahn. Oh, that's loud. Woo! 266. <laughs> oh, that feels very quick in this car. Another thing I love about this car, and this only gets, you know, more pronounced with this amount of power, is the fact that when you hit the throttle or the brakes, but the throttle is coolest, the car just tilts and the nose is raised and it squats and it just feels so cool. It feels like the car is just squatting down. Well, it is, but it feels like it has to, to put that power down, you know, it just, it feels so cool. Now, of course, we also measured our 100 to 200 kilometer an hour runs uh, stock. We measured the G63 at 12.81 seconds. This one, 8.11. So that is a big bump. More importantly, or more impressively, we also measured the 0 to 200, which stock did 18 seconds, and this car did in 12.11. 58 so a five and a half second improvement on that particular run the zero to 200 which is just crazy that's so much faster 
and of course if you drive this car around half throttle three quarters throttle it just it's so thunderous in a G-Wagon. I mean, that is just ridiculous. That should not be allowed. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to turn around here. Oh my lord. I just saw an overpass. Oh! <laughs> Can you hear those tires squeal? Oh my god, they suffer so hard. <laughs> that is just ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> that is just crazy. limiter but I think 27 you know around 280 might actually be the top speed because of just the drag the sheer drag of this massive square thing so I'm going to end it here guys I hope you enjoyed it go check out PP performance uh, if you want to learn more about this stuff they make their own videos as well so go check them out on YouTube Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye guys.